she, she, me, YouTube. It's your boy Season, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today's reaction video, we're looking at Yo Yo 808. I attacked a problematic customer at work. Um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment on the video. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you end up missing an upload. Also, don't forget to watch the full reaction. Let's go get straight right into this video. And this dude is getting visibly angry at this point. Like, his face was about as red as his MAGA hat. He was definitely <laughs> about one more decline away from calling me a negligent employee. <laughs> if you don't count YouTube, I've worked about one, two, three jobs in my life. And of those jobs, I've been fired about one, two, three times. It's not that I'm a bad employee. Wow. I'm just a really, really bad employee. But hey, maybe that just means I've always been destined for more, you know? I've been my own boss for about five months now, and from this, I've learned that I'm a really bad employee. This store took place at my first job. I was a cashier at a fairly popular Texas grocery store chain, and on this particular day, I was working on an express lane, meaning you can bring no more than 15 items to my line. So the time comes for my shift to end, and I start finishing up my last customer of the day. I put up the clothes sign on my lane. I turn off the light to signify to other customers that I'm done. I finish the last customer, turn off the register, and right as I'm about to dip, I hear, what about us? What about you? I look over, and all I see is this mountain of groceries getting wheeled wow. over by these two people. And that's none of my business. My shift just ended. I don't just walk up to my manager like, yo, what's good? My shift is over. Those people over there want to be scanned. You got me, right? Yeah, appreciate you, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. So I walk up to my manager. Yo, what's good? My shift is over. Good evening, sir. How's it going? I start scanning. He looks at me. No response at all. He just starts plopping his groceries on the belt. I am happy to help you. I start scanning his stuff, and at the store that I worked at, bags cost 25 cents. So I ask him, would you like any bags, sir? And at this moment, I knew this guy was going to be an issue because he says verbatim, if they aren't free like they should be, then no, just put my stuff in the cart. I'm what? happy to help you. After realizing that this guy is a piece of garbage, I ignore him and finish scanning everything. Mind you, my shift ended five minutes ago. I tell him his total, he swipes his card, and... Uh, Hey, boy, where's my receipt? I got places to be. Oh, sorry, it seems like your card declined, sir. What? I have money on there. Your machine must be broke. Ah, broke. That's that's an ironic choice of words. Oh, so <laughs> here, try swiping again. He swipes. Er, his card declines again. Hey, if you want, I can take some stuff off. Yeah, you go do that. I'm happy to serve you. I take off like $30 worth of groceries. Er, decline. <laughs> Mom, can you get this? I'll pay you back. The lady he had with him was apparently his mom, and she hasn't said anything this whole time. She gets her card, swipes in, it declines. <laughs> and this dude is getting visibly angry at this point. Like, his face was about as red as his mega hat. He was definitely about one more decline away from calling me a negligent employee. I asked if he wants to take more stuff off, and he points his finger at me and says, No! You stay right there. As a matter of fact, you put everything back on this order, goddammit. I got money. He then takes his card and storms off angrily to call his bank or something. And I'm just thinking, how are you old, white, in America, <laughs> and broker than me? Like, bro, this is not my fault. You blew a 400 year head start. Anyways, I start to rescan the groceries I took off, and his mom starts to put the stuff in the cart. Still not saying a word, but I really don't care. My shift ended like 15 minutes ago. I'm just trying to get this order over with. So I start scanning the groceries as fast as possible. And when I scan a lot of items quickly, I like to toss things from one hand to another. So I'm scanning and tossing. Beep. Catch. Hey. Hey, okay, hey. I'm scanning and catching these groceries. I'm in my bag, mm. trying to finish before mm. this old nigga comes back. Check mm. the beat, mm. uh, I don't see ya. Mm. Gotta pull that yeah. out, change like yeah. grocery store. Yeah, cause yeah. that'll do yeah. coming back. Hey, 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 I won't see a kryptonite. I get a little rhythm going, and everything is fine. I'm finishing up the groceries using the same scan and toss method. I get to this jug of laundry, I grab it with one hand, beep. Bam! The detergent starts barreling towards this lady. I went to toss the detergent, but I missed my hand and it just keeps flying. And it was coming in hot. I literally just looked this old lady in the face, grabbed a gallon of laundry detergent.
charge it and use all of my strength to just throw it at her. She looks up in terror as it approaches and bam, it hits the end of the bell. Detergent gets everywhere, the floor, myself, the register, and of course, the lady. She looks at her clothes, looks at me. Her eyes are wide open. She is looking into my soul. I don't know what to do, I'm speechless. And so is she. She's like shaking and shit. She did not say that one thing. I quickly finished scanning. I cleaned the floor myself and the lady is still doing the stanky leg, but I kind of wiped her <laughs> off too. And I'm doing all this while frequently glancing back at the door to see if the guy is coming back because if he sees that I literally assaulted his mom with laundry detergent, he's going to come back and probably sue me because he c clearly needs the money. It was only like $50 worth of groceries. So I'm wiping their cart like super fast because I don't want bro to see me. I take one more glance at the front door and I see him walking by with this angry look on his face. Time is moving in slow motion as I see him get closer and closer and farther and farther. On the phone pacing back and forth outside, probably speaking with his bank or something. I finish wiping, I get a new detergent, I call my manager, tell him the order is delayed, he saves it and I hightail it out of that store man believe it or not this actually isn't the reason i got fired from this store i got in trouble best believe but i actually got fired for something way way worse but that's that's definitely a story for another time hey there ain't no stop me bitch i be locking in 808 i'm so this is kind of clickbait i see you because i thought you got into a physical altercation with the guy but hey, I see you, yo yo. But back to the song. But the blow. Uh, got my money, then it came a monopoly. I got it all on my own. Put in my phone. I'm cool being a phone. I don't need no one to pop. School of these straight C's. Now see straight racks and all my accounts. Oh, hey, yo. Short as the SB, why not come? Niggas be talking like, what about us? Fitly saying I'm working too much. I do not think I've been working enough. I fear nothing but the thought of being nothing at all. Uh, yeah. Wanted to build with you, but now you're not too involved. So fuck it, I'm back in my bed. Fuck it, I'm chasing the cash. 130 on the cash. Uh, Hey. 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 Yeah. 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 Good grip. Hey, your boy, Caesar, and I'm out, and I'm tired. Peace.